Solar Opposites is back for a fourth season on Hulu. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Hulu. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. In season four, we pack up the sci-fi and get normal for a second. Then it's back to classic solar chaos, mayhem in the wall, and some all new silver cops adventures. Solar Opposite still remains one of my favorite animated shows that is currently on streaming services. I enjoy all the characters, the episodes, the wall. There's so much to unpack with each season. And although each season feels pretty similar compared to the previous season, there's still enough to make it really enjoyable. We all know what happened with Justin Roiland in the show. He had voiced Corvo in the series and they replaced him with Dan Stevens. They do it in a way that would only work on Solar Opposites. A dart gets thrown at his throat and they have a voice changer and now he sounds like Dan Stevens. And Dan Stevens does a really great job voicing Corvo. Uh, at times he's really angry and sarcastic and Dan Stevens does a fine job voicing one of the best characters honestly in the show. So yes, it's a bit jarring. You have to get used to the different voice for Corvo, but it, eventually it does work. Now within season four, they try to have a normal life. They realize that they can't get their ship to work. Aisha is still working on it, voiced by Tiffany Haddish. And so they accept the fact that they are stuck here on Earth. So they start to have a normal life. They have their jobs at the rake company and they go on business trips. They try to do things to have a normal life. And that's what separates season four from the previous three seasons is that acceptance that they're stuck here on earth and does lead to some really hilarious adventures. Then we also have the wall. The wall still is the best thing about Solar Opposites. Yeah, I enjoy all of the humor and the characters from the show, from Yumulak and Corvo and Jesse. I do love The Wall. The Wall, the storylines are always intriguing. It's suspenseful throughout seeing how everything is miniature and people utilize it inside this wall. I still, to this day, would love to see a spin-off series focused on the characters within the wall. Because I am glued to the screen when it's the wall. And much like previous seasons, they have an episode dedicated to the wall. And you have storylines that nicely develop throughout. It's continuing off of the third season. So there's that. And the wall, it just works. It's easily the best thing about the show. The characters are really entertaining and they do some really crazy things with our characters that I don't want to spoil because some of it was pretty thrilling. You feel more of a connection between Terry and Corvo. Their relationship uh, is pretty strong throughout season four. Emulac and Jesse, them being siblings, uh, has some realistic moments that, you know, they're going to argue, but uh, they really break these characters down and show how strong their relationship are. And then you have Aisha voiced by Tiffany Haddish that has an episode dedicated to her and some development and development for her as well. So you really get to feel, uh, you really get to know some minor characters a lot more in season four, especially when it comes to Aisha. And I think they did a great job balancing it, 11 episodes, and you get a chance to really understand some of the minor characters that add to the lore of Solar Opposites and just the universe within it. So I really did appreciate that. I'm not sure if it's because Justin Roiland's not around anymore. I can't remember so much of the dialogue for the previous three seasons, but season four is way more vulgar. Uh, a lot of F-bombs, just cursing left and right. And at times you, you wish that they would uh, exchange it for, I guess, a deeper dialogue uh, that made more sense because it's just cussing non-stop and i know that the previous three seasons had a lot of cuss words in it but season four it just felt like every other line was a curse word and i don't mind that i don't mind watching shows that have constant curse words throughout but it got old pretty quickly and you feel like they could have used other words in the show or explored different options throughout just a little nitpick for me because it seemed like it just was very constant 
every single time that they were talking, they had to have a cuss word in it. And at times it worked and it was funny and added a lot to the humor, but a lot of the times you felt like they could have done something different with it. But overall, Solar Opposites Season 4, I like that they explored uh, them living a normal life as they are working on their ship and then also having a and also having a lot of the minor characters have storylines in here the silver cops adventures was absolutely hilarious the wall was very intriguing there's a lot of fun things in here to remain one of my favorite shows on hulu one of my favorite animated shows as well if you like the previous three seasons there's a lot in here that feels very similar to those but also offering some new things as well so before i give you my score for solar opposite season four on hulu make sure to check out my channel here i do movie reviews trailer actions ranking videos tier lists all that fun movie related content that you see on youtube i do it all here so hit the subscribe button to get it all in one spot i'm gonna go ahead and give solar opposites season four a b plus thank you guys for checking out my review for solar opposite season four on hulu have you guys seen it by chance what do you think about it let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this my name is just watches movies and you guys stay classy youtube